Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch. Welcome back to our ongoing Hacks and Hacks Flixel tutorial series. Today we are going to be looking at sound and music. Now it's a little misleading because they're actually controlled using 100% the same process, the FLX sound class. Uh, but the loaders used behind them are different. And also the file formats are different. And there's a couple of uh, things to be aware of right up front. And most of it's about file formats. Uh, first off, you've got two different approaches. You've basically got um, encoded streamed audio and raw waveform. So you've got um, sound effects will be in a file format called wave. Uh, generally, uh, there is an exception, we'll get to that in a second. And that is um, an uncompressed sound form. It basically just stores the waveform as raw data. Now the advantage to this is that it is very, very, very CPU um, light. It's very light on the CPU. There's not resource intensive at all. The alternative is um, a streamed compressed audio. Uh, this is your traditional MP3 or uh, OGG, Aug Vorbis format. And what this is, is this is a longer form and it is compressed. Your audio might have some audio artifacts, uh, but it's a lot smaller. Now the flip side is the CPU uh, usage is a lot harder because it has to decode the format. So uh, generally what happens is you'll use the compressed form, the OGG or the MP3 format for um, background music and you will use the uh, much faster to load and play and less CPU intensive thing, the wave format, for quick sound effects. So that's where the distinction comes in. That's why this is titled sound and music and not just audio. Uh, but the file formats that are actually supported are important based off of which platform you're working with. As hacks can support a number of different platforms, um, the different file formats have different issues. Now the biggest one is the MP3 file format has a bunch of licensing issues behind it. So it is patent encumbered and a lot of people stay away from it as a result. So what has happened in the hacks Flixo is every single platform uses OGG and Wave, except Flash and possibly iOS, which will use MP3 instead. Now there's also a limitation on how your files are encoded. They have to be at 11, uh, 11,000, uh, 2250, 44,100 kilohertz, which are probably the three most common encoding formats. And if you need to change this up, you, know, you need to either convert your MP3 to OGG format, or you need to convert from 48, thousand to 44,000 uh, kilohertz, for example. There's a great program out there called Audacity. Now, I've done all the source code for this. It's already available, as you can see in the web page in front of you. Uh, there's also a link to Audacity there. So if you need that, go ahead. Also, as I said, all the source code is available on gamefromscratch.com. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Now, you'll see I've already done a basic um, project for us. Let me zoom this up a bit. A bit more. Okay, so you should be able to read that, no problems now. Let's go in here, take a look. Uh, you will see I have dropped, um, when you do your default um, hacks project using the Flixel tool, it creates the assets folder, which we've already been using for the images folder. Well, it also created music and sound. Now what I've done is I've dumped MP3 and WAV format versions of our sound effect and our music file into both folders. Now the first thing we're gonna do is um, filter this down so that only the pro, um, the audio formats for the particular platform we're working get included each time. Uh, so that's a matter of, we're gonna go into uh, project.xml. You don't need to do this. It just gets rid of some of the, uh, the warnings or error messages you might receive. So head on down to your uh, path settings. Here we go, right here. And what this line right here is doing is basically including all of the assets. And uh, we're just gonna tell it to be a little bit more specific. So we'll comment this guy out. Instead what we want to do is say assets. So this is where it searches to find all of the individual files. So you know how it auto did the automatic completion for us? Well this is what tells it where to find those assets. So assets slash music and we're going to say include files of format mp3 if flash. So basically, if we're running on the Flash platform, include the MP3. And what we'll do here, we can do that for sound as well. So sound and music on that platform are all MP3s. Now, what we wanna do is change this one out for non-Flash platforms. And we're gonna include, instead of MP3, start at OGG or start at wave. And instead of if, we'll do unless. 
If you're only working on a single platform or you don't care about Flash, you could ignore all of this completely. So this will cause the preprocessor based on which platform we build on to include only the assets we actually want. So that's how the assets paths work. Now let's switch on back to our code. Uh, here we go, over here. And let's look at the first example. We're gonna just go ahead and play some music. So here we are in the super class. Now you saw earlier, I put it in a folder called, uh, in the music folder, there's a sound called uh, techno. And now we're just gonna go ahead and play that one. And we'll do this again using those conditionals. So if flash, we're gonna play the mp3 version, flxg.sound.play music assets paths dot techno otherwise all right you failed me there else xg dot sound dot play music Build. Could not find path assets that sound. Let me see what's the actual folder called. Sounds. All right, that's why we got an error there. Let's go fix my typo. All right, save that back up and build. So there you go, our music is automatically playing. And if I built this for another platform, it would obviously use the appropriate file there. And that's really all that's required to actually go ahead and play a sound. Uh, pretty simple, really. Uh, we can also track um, some of the functionality on that sound. So for example, I can come down here and say, if it's g.sound.music.onComplete. So if you wanted to do uh, an, a track manager or something, we just do a function here that, and we'll just so when the song finishes playing, this fire, this function will kick off. So what you could do at that point is, you know, play another music file, um, whatever. You could create a very simple audio manager here. Now let's look at using a sound effect instead, and this is also quite simple. We're going to go ahead and we're going to create one as a member variable instead. So uh, inside of our class. Up here, I'm gonna do a couple of variables we're gonna use later on as well. So var, uh, sound effect, and as I said, everything is an FLX sound as the parent class. But we'll use these three later. So ignore the man behind the curtain. We'll come back and explain those later. This is the one that's important. So basically that is our sound effect class. Uh, and then down here, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and create one. So, sound effect equals flxg.sound.load. I said pass dot, and it was gunshot. So as you can see for Flash, it's an MP3 file format. And here, It's aug. I'm not getting completion. Oh, I guess I only get completion when I build it for that platform. Okay, uh, so that is that. Now the last thing we need to do is actually go ahead and play that sound. So we're gonna do down here in the input. So if flxg.keys.justpressed.g sound effect and we're gonna come back to this in a second. We'll go ahead and build that off. There we go. And now if I hit the G key, our gunshot. Now if I hit the G key twice, nothing happens until the sound effect is finished playing. Now sometimes you're gonna to wanna to interrupt the sound uh, so that it'll keep firing every time you fire it off. 
And in that case, we will just go up here and pass in true here instead. Now, um, which way you go is kind of up to you. You could also create multiple instances if you wanted to have multiple concurrent versions of the sound. So now if I do a G, and then if I do it again, it interrupts the playing sound. Which approach you want to take is ultimately up to you. Uh, now let's look at some of the positional audio stuff we can do. This is actually pretty cool. We're going to play with our um, music file that's playing. So I'm going to come down here underneath this N. So sound X equals. And what I'm doing is I'm doing positional audio on the sound. So first I'm giving the sound a position. And we'll just center it to the middle of the screen. So and we're going to create an ear. So this is our listening position. Where we're going to listen for sounds relative to this location. And it's just an FLX object, so I have a position. So an ear dot set. Position, um, and actually sound X and sound Y are currently correct. So also to the middle of the screen, like so. And now there's quite a few cool things we can do. Now come on down here and to our update. And let's play with the position of our sound. So FLX G dot keys dot just press dot left sound x minus equals 25 oops all right so left right And down. So we're just positioning the audio. Um, we're moving it around a little bit each time we press a key. And now the actual function call that moves the audio. So we're going to go here and FLX G dot sound dot music dot prox. So this sound.music refers to the currently playing music file. Uh, so proximity function, so sound x, sound y. So this is the position of our audio. And then ear, is this is the object that is our we're listening relative to. What you would often have is that this would be your character sprite or whatever. But in this case, we just created an object at the center of the screen. But this is where audio will be heard relative to. And then the radius, the fall off radius for the audio to be heard at all. And then finally, um, panning. And we do want it to pan, so this is, um, you know, the volume will change as you move it around, but this will also cause it to pan. So play it on the left stereo speaker or the right stereo speaker relative to uh, where it is positioned. All right, so let's go ahead and run that guy. So now you should be able to hear, as long as this doesn't get mixed down to mono, when I press left, oops. We should pan over to the left side, right, to the right side, up, and down. It's not actually doing anything on my end. I'm not sure if I've made a mistake here, just a second. Okay, I'm a weapons grade idiot here. Uh, see this little bracket? Well, this put me in my uh, callback method. So what we actually wanted to do is take this code and put it here. So yeah, that was kind of stupid. Otherwise, that code would actually only ever run when our sound effect ends. So sorry about that. Let's fix that up. Now we'll go ahead and run this. Run, run. Now I press the left arrow. In theory, it should pan now. So there, it's getting quieter as it pans to the left. Now I have right arrow. And it'll pan to the right. And then back towards, and we can do up and down. 
So it makes it very easy to set positional audio in your game if that's something you want to do. And there's a couple of other very cool sound effects we can do. So let's just go ahead and do them right here. Well, not so much sound effects, but uh, controls we have over our sound. Um, here, we'll do them here. So if just pressed oops, dot P, and what we can do is pause our audio. So are we currently playing a song? And if we are, So by pressing the P key, we can pause and resume playback of our audio. Another thing that we can do is change the audio uh, volume, quite simply. So change the volume. Uh, volume ranges from zero, uh, which is no volume, to one, which is full volume. So, so now yeah, let's go ahead and play these out. So I press P, our music stops. Press P again, it continues playing. If I do uh, plus key, minus key, like so. And two final neat tricks I'm going to show you is we can also easily fade audio out when it ends. And we can also, or actually I guess fading it out ends the audio. And we can also mute auto globally. So, so far we've just changed the, um, we've paused it or resumed playback of the actual audio instance. This will actually mute all audio. So let's start with that one. So pretty easy, FLX G dot uh, sound dot muted equals, and that's just a Boolean value. So we're gonna just flip it. So, no, oh, that's kind of stupid. That's actually my, my action, not my if. So let's do if like g dot keys dot just press dot m all right so we hit the m key we will change the status of our muted sound effect and then finally let us end our sound effect if we hit the s key with a fade out effect so if it's key just pressed dot s i don't know why i picked s but sure uh sound dot music dot fade so you see there's fade in and fade out and there's also fade tween which controls uh, the tween uh, which we used earlier in graphics that is going to uh, control how that fade in or out works so here we're going to go ahead with a fade out and the parameter is how long in this particular case there's also a callback function you could do when it's done so if you wanted to fade out audio and then start playing other audio you could easily handle that in the callback function in this particular case we're just going to go ahead and do it like that so, audio loads up. So there, so if I hit G right now, there's our gunshot. I hit M, audio is now all muted, so if I hit G, nothing. Hit M again, and now G, and there you go. And now we can just go ahead and fade out the music completely. Hit S, and over three seconds it'll get quieter, and done. That's it. That's pretty much everything you need to know to do audio, uh, both music and sound effects, in Hacks Flixel. Uh, pretty straightforward tutorial for the most part. A bit longer than I meant it to be, but uh, hopefully you did enjoy that. And if you did, please do click like. And if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon. I do all kinds of game development related stuff. Uh, once again, all the source code for everything we've talked about here, all the assets, etc., are available on the uh, Patreon backer Dropbox. Uh, so if you are a patron supporter, first off, thank you. And second off, you can download all of this directly. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, see you all later. Goodbye.